an agility ladder. You can easily make this one at home if you have a little bit of tape that won't ruin your floor. You just make two lines and every foot you're gonna put a line across. So what the agility ladder does is it creates the exact amount of space between each step so that we can regulate our stepping for our footwork and we don't get too far out of distance. If I have an agility ladder, I can use it to help my stance. I'm gonna find my stance and I wanna make the line line up with the middle of my body, exactly where my chin's over. Now remember, your hands are up, your elbows are in. Now, I wanna to try to step in the middle of the box on each step. So, I'm gonna lift the front foot, push with the back foot, step. Now notice the line is gonna go throughout the middle of my body. I'm gonna take another step from here. Step, 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 step. And again, make sure that the head's not up, the chin's down, the hands are up. Step, step. Now, once I get to this end, I can switch. Now, I want this back foot to be in the middle of the box. And I'm gonna take my step back. Step, step, chin down, step. And I want this line to go through the center of my body. Step, 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 step. Watch your stance, watch your distance. Now I'm gonna move left. So, left foot in the box, step. And this line will be in the middle of my body. Step. Watch you don't bring your feet too narrow. Step. Chin down on the target. Step. 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 Check that your stance is the same. Now I'm moving right. Step. 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 Before you move on to the next tape, I'd like you to take a round or two, three minute rounds, work moving forwards, work moving backwards, work moving left, and work moving right. Good work, everybody. Let's move on. Okay, the next drill is gonna work our lateral movement and our angles with our stance. Now remember, we haven't worked any punching yet, so just theoretically, this would be your target that you would be hitting in the center, and this would be their limbs and appendages. So I start facing my opponent. From here, I'm gonna take a step to the right, and then I'm gonna take a little step in. This would be where I throw the attack. Then I'm gonna step off, I'm gonna step to the right, I'm gonna step to the outside angle, then I'm gonna step in, step out, step right, step right, step in, step out, move. In, out. Now you'll notice I'm shuffling my feet a little bit. Once you start to get really good at your footwork, you'll be able to do this. Chances are when you start, you'll be slightly robotic and choppy, and that's okay. Once you start to get nice and relaxed, move, step, out, and you want to just kind of flow. In, out, back. And you'll notice when I'm moving, sometimes to push off, We'll slip this back foot, this front foot back, and we'll push off. But we only do that when we're to the outside of these pylons. I would never want to drop my foot here and try to get out. I'm going to walk into something. So I'm going to engage, step out of range, push off, and step. In, out, step, 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 in, out. Once I've gone around a couple times in one direction, now I'm gonna move the other way. In, out, move. In, out, step, step. In, out, step, step. In, out, step, step. In, out, step, step. Okay, 